Welcome to your daily pick a card reading for April 5th. Take a moment and decide which card you feel most drawn to here. Is it card one, card two, or card three? Take a moment, feel which one you are most drawn to, and then we'll flip them over and get started on the readings. Okay, we're going to get started now. If you chose card number one, we have for you the Six of Pentacles today. This brings a message of balance and generosity. You might find yourself in a position today to give or receive assistance that might be material assistant or even just emotional support. So be really open to both giving and receiving help today as this balance is essential for, for harmony in your relationships and endeavors. If you're the one giving, do so with a really open heart and without expecting anything in return. Nothing ruins a good deed like putting a feeling of, of guilt on the other person or overly emphasizing your generosity. Don't do that. Just give the help, shut up about it, <laughs> and just be generous without expecting anything back from them, even a thank you, don't even expect that, just be generous. Your kindness and generosity will be appreciated and that may sow seeds of goodwill that will benefit you in the future. If you're on the receiving end, accept that help graciously. Remember that it's okay to lean on others from time to time, we all have to do that sometimes. So allow yourself to receive with gratitude Knowing that accepting support is not a sign of weakness, but part of the natural cycle of, of giving and receiving that happens in life all the time. So in all your interactions today, strive for fairness and equity and look for opportunities to share your blessings with those who might be less fortunate than you. Than you. Be mindful of maintaining this healthy balance in your dealings with other people today. It's really about embracing a spirit of generosity and fairness. If you drew or sorry, chose card number two, we have for you, ooh, the fool card. This is saying, let's embrace a sense of adventure and spontaneity today and be really open-minded. This card is all about new beginnings and fresh starts and stepping into the unknown with a lot of optimism and enthusiasm. You might find yourself at the beginning of something, a new chapter in your life, a new journey. Trust in yourself now and trust that as you take the first steps forward, trust that the universe is supporting you right now. Leave behind any fear or hesitation and Approach the path ahead with curiosity and a willingness to learn. That's a really good antidote for fear or hesitation. Being curious about something, entering into the unknown with a curious mind and that willingness to learn new lessons, that's a really good way to overcome any fear about moving forward. The Fool really reminds you to embrace the present moment fully and let go of any preconceived notions or limitations today. Be really open to new experiences and opportunities that come your way. Even if they seem a little bit unconventional or outside of your comfort zone, remember to stay grounded as well, especially in the midst of, of new beginnings. While taking risks can lead to growth and transformation, it's essential to remain mindful of potential pitfalls along the way. Trust your intuition to guide you, but also be willing to seek guidance from others if needed. Because this, the fool here is so fresh on his journey, some guidance wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. He's really taking that leap of faith, but he doesn't have to do it entirely alone. You're really invited today to allow yourself to be playful and spontaneous and embrace the sense of freedom that comes with stepping into the unknown. If you chose card number three, we have for you the Knight of Cups today. This brings a message of emotional depth. 
he's all about creativity and romantic pursuit as well. This card represents a really charming and idealistic individual who's driven by their heart's desires and guided by intuition. This could be a water sign person who's going to figure quite pro prominently in your day to day. You yourself might find yourself embodying the qualities of the Knight of Cups or encountering someone who does. This could be a person who is sensitive, romantic, and really deeply in touch with their emotions. And they may bring you messages of love or inspiration or just creative opportunities into your life. If you're seeking romance or emotional fulfillment, the Knight of Cups encourages you to follow your heart's true desires and be really open to new experiences and connections. Allow yourself to be swept away today by love or, or passion. Allow yourself to, to give in to those emotions. On the flip side, this card might indicate a need to balance your emotions and your imagination with practical considerations. Because while it's wonderful to dream and pursue your heart's desires, we have to stay grounded and realistic in our approach to life as well. So today is really about embracing your emotions, your intuition, and your creativity. I'm getting the sense if you're working on something creative today, it's just going to be flowing really easily for you. You're going to be very emotionally connected to whatever you're working on. So that is your pick a card reading for today. I hope whichever card you picked resonated for you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.